The Satan, the devil would come on earth in human form and lead the humans. He would be their king. He would be their leader. That would be his final achievement. That would be his final desire that would be fulfilled. That who, he, he would be the leader of humans and he would be among them in human form. And that would be the time when the horn would be blown. And the person pulling, fetching water from his well won't be able to take it out and he will die. A mom feeding her child won't be able to take him off and they would die. And two people having a trade deal or transaction or buying or selling something, they won't be able to complete that and they would die. So then very few people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have, will, will, will bless with his special mercy with the ones with Prophet Isa alayhi salam and Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would order Prophet Isa alayhi salam to take them to mountains to a specific location that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would guide them to they would be saved from the attack of Gog and Magog and also a few people here and there all over the world that Gog and Magog might not get their eyes on just as just incidentally so there would be those best of the best people along with Prophet Isa salam, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would bless that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would shower his special mercy on and on the other hand they would be the people worst of the worst worst of the worst and these two kind of people would be left on earth and their number in total could be like my best guess could be a few thousand or maybe a hundred thousand or so Allahu alam but nothing would be left after Gog and Magog. So there will be these two kinds of people living on earth now. And they will be totally disconnected. Those people living with Prophet Isa would be living in total peace. And those people all over the world, scattered probably, those would be the worst of the worst of the worst people. They would do all kind of worse things you can imagine. Or beyond that. They would, be, they would have no religion, no ethics, no, nothing. They would be just the devils. Then there would be a cool breeze, some sickness, some virus. That we know as a cool breeze, as a breeze in Islamic eschatology. In, the hadith of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that would blow in the area of Muslims around Prophet Isa salam and Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salatu was salam and that breeze would, would, would make all of the Muslims die in a peaceful manner so all of the Muslims would die quickly in a matter of very short span of time even Prophet Isa alayhi salam, Prophet Jesus alayhi salam would also die and there would be no Muslims left and now the earth would have the worst of the worst people maybe one or two Muslims Wallahu alam would also survive but the earth would now be filled with the worst of the worst people majorly, mostly, actually after all of the Muslims also die when no Muslim is left no worshipper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would be left on earth. Then the Satan, the devil would come on earth in human form and lead the humans. He would be their king. He would be their leader. That would be his final achievement. That would be his final desire that would be fulfilled. That who, he, he would be the leader of humans and he would be among them in human form. And that would be the time when the horn would be blown. That would be the time when the horn would be blown. That would be the time when the day of Qiyamah would occur.
and the person pulling, fetching water from his well won't be able to take it out and he will die. A mom feeding her child won't be able to, to take him off and they would die. And two people having a trade deal or transaction or buying or selling something, they won't be able to complete that and they would die. That's how the day of Qiyamah would occur. So these are all of the steps from today until the day of Qiyamah. In future videos, inshallah, we'll tell in detail what would happen after the day of Qiyamah. What would be the scene and the positioning of the day of judgment and how would it go on that day? Inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the righteous and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from being the wrongdoers and evildoers. Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qulubana ala ta'atik. Allahumma inna na'udhu bika min al fitnat al masih al dajjal wa fitnat al mahyaya wa mamat. Allahumma. ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اغفر لنا وارحمنا وتجاوز عنا يا رحمن